Hello, and welcome to my night library. On this week's episode of Balls Deep, we followed Zen Buddhist archer and social gadfly Tracy Ryan as he navigated the nexus of money, power, culture, and art. I know I'm supposed to be focusing right now, but it's kind of a strange environment to be meditating in. New York City, I mean, where arts and culture and kind of high-minded creative endeavors fight for space with money and high finance and advertising and people who call themselves creatives. And then I'll go out and party together and get wrecked. And you have branded leisure events like Ad Week and Fashion Week and Yoga Week, and they're all the same fucking week. It's maddening. Tracy Ryan is a mysterious guy who navigates this city's weird nexus of wealth and creative people and corporate brands and sludgy, semi-commercial, collaborative stew they stir, and does really well with it, and definitely does so via his training in Zen Buddhism. So that's what I'm doing, or trying to do. I should probably get back to focusing. You'd think for an episode entitled Zen and the Art of Blank, I'd have gotten around to reading the namesake, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Um, but have not, and while I understand it to be a classic account of uh, father-son bonding over Zen and motorcycle maintenance, it's uh, always been a little on the longer side for me to get to, but uh, hopefully one of these days should be nice. What I did read and found illuminating about uh, specifically the moneyed circles in which uh, Tracy seems to swim is this anthropology account, Patterns of American Culture. An interesting takeaway, and it's uh, distilled kind of in the introduction to the book, which is all I've ever actually read, is kind of the transactional nature of American life, that uh, America was founded not as this revolutionary democratic experiment that it became, but essentially like a glorified real estate scheme. If you look at William Penn's uh, original map of Pennsylvania, it's essentially like a real estate listing for would-be colonists, all the different uh, various acreages that they could own. Tracy I found to be like a weird avatar of this sort of spirit in that his living, his career, is essentially being himself and, and you know, kind of cultivating different social circles that, you know, he benefits and that benefits him. Between six and eight, you're going to see that sense of urgency in everyone yeah. because everyone's trying to see as much art as they can in two hours. You become a spinning dervish for two hours yeah, yeah, and you don't yeah. see any art, but you see all people. Right. So, so it's yeah, it's more of a social thing. It's more social than oh, most yeah. people would, would admit, so, but because yeah. you don't really get to see the art. It's more of a celebration, celebrating the artist today for the opening. He moves with extremely interesting people and he does a good job of bringing them into collaboration with uh, folks with a lot of fucking money to throw around who are equally interested in hanging out with interesting people. It's uh, kind of the same point that uh, Kubrick seemed to be trying to make with Eyes Wide Shut where you get past a, a certain class that's obsessed with money and its powers, the professional class, into the actual upper echelons where people use people as currency. And you know, there's a point at which like the money doesn't matter because there's enough of it. And what you value is your, your social impact and who you're with. And like, you know, rich people want to party and that's what he's good at. So works for both of them and for me, a fucking blast. Changed my life. Take this with me. <laughs>